So I'm back here on uh, Liberty Mountain Trail System. Just was at the uh, uh, Ruck and Pratt. Had a bunch of paperwork to sign. Now what I signed, I have no idea. Um, so let's try to figure out what we're gonna do today. Uh, well, I'll just get started. Here, we, So here we are right here. And I'm just gonna try to come down this way. I've, we've already done Dirty Ridge. So I'm gonna try to head this way up into the trail system and see if we can get some of these other trails in. I'm only gonna hike for a couple of hours today. Um, so let's just get started. We're, so we're hitting, the, we're hitting the lake trail. So where's the lake trail? So that's this trail right here. And then of course I'll probably come down and I'll start working my way this way. Let's see, I guess we'll come down. There's Raccoon Alley and maybe we'll get over and just do deer trail and come back and there's psychopath and we saw that the last time i was here so that's that looks like a good hike let's try to do that so we're going to come down lake trail to raccoon alley and go over to the deer trail and i've got my my map this time because we've already done dirty ridge and then we'll take that to, to psychopath or well i guess we'll see Every time I get started, I, it never works out quite the way I want. But uh, so this is this this is the lake trail. Here comes somebody jogging. There you go, Liberty you're a Mountain. So I'm just getting started on the the lake trail here on Liberty Mountain, and uh, it's been uh, you know like I said this is it's a mountain. <laughs> I'm going right now. I'm going down, but that means I'm going to have to go back up at some point. So I'm, I should get that heart rate up when I go back up the mountain. But I just wanted to get a quick clip here at the beginning of the hike, uh, just to show you what the trail looks like. Uh, you know, we're still in the uh, the fall. I tell you what, the temperatures today are outstanding, and that's why I I can't uh, stay too late. I didn't bring a, a sweater or anything, because right now wouldn't you be sweating in it? But I have a feeling it's about 3:30, almost getting to darn near four o'clock, and so. You know, a two hour hike, that's gonna put me almost in the dark getting back to the car, which is another problem. I couldn't park in the lower parking lot. I had to park in the upper, because I don't know if you remember from the last video, uh, the parking time was uh, 4.30, and they said after 4.30, they might start checking the cars. And so I said, well, I'll be here well past 4.30. So I went ahead and parked in the upper parking lot because I've never seen a sign that says you can't be there after 4:30, um, so that's why I did it, and so I missed out on that nice climb up the mountain to get my heart rate up in the beginning. But uh, we're heading, we're heading down. You can see there's a little stream down here, and uh, so we're gonna get to that uh, left-hand turn, and then just make the hopefully the loop back. So I'll get some more video if I see anything interesting. Let's get the look at the creek down here. Uh, what a treasure, huh? Well, so we'll, future videos, uh, you know, we're going to try to get out to uh, Liberty Mountain. I mean, not Liberty, Sweetbriar College. I want to check out and see if there's any trails there. I've, I've been told there are. Uh, of course, we got still got a lot more to hike here while I'm still in Lynchburg. Uh, you know, the only thing I'm waiting on is to see if uh, Mom's going to need a scooter out at uh, Rock and Pratt. And uh, they got to do an assessment and let me know. And I keep pump beating on them, you know, but she just got there yesterday. So I understand, you know, they're busy, you know, when you're taking care of a whole lot of old people. I, I, I wouldn't want that job, I can tell you that. All right, let's let's keep going. But you can see what it's just kind of more of the same here. Let's get going. So I thought this was kind of unique. Uh, just getting this on the video. Now, um, would I recommend you have a uh, walking stick most definitely but unfortunately you know i've got the gopro and i got the map and i got my keys and this is this is a note to like the steve turleys and the people that i watch on youtube because they all have great shirts that i want to buy but i need a pocket you know i'm not going to buy any more t-shirts because i got so many of them but you know if they could put together one a let's go brandon shirt and have a pocket on it i'd buy the shirt in a heartbeat but i'm not going to buy any more t-shirts without a pocket and the same with these i got sweatpants on and there's no pocket in there so i've only got two hands one of them i have to carry the gopro uh, the map my car keys and an extra battery for the gopro you know and so trying to have a walking stick along so because i just the reason i'm telling you all this is i just because you can't see underneath these leaves and twice now i've tripped on stuff underneath the leaves and almost fell down you know whereas a walk with a walking stick of course you would have been able to catch yourself 
but uh, still continuing down so it's going to be a tough climb out of here off of this lake trail but uh, I just thought that site back there was kind of unique but uh, boy you can see the footing here look at this you know so I got to go take it slow unfortunately whereas if I had a walking stick I could move a lot faster um, but I think we're at the lowest point because if you look the mountains to my right the mountains to my left at some point it's going to be brutal heading back up the mountain but right now we're just continuing along next to this creek and am i still on the lake trail i don't know at this point i mean i haven't seen anything to indicate that i am let's just keep going so let's just look back at the trail here because i'm still continuing down like i said i'm gonna to have to climb up at some point boy i almost tripped again i can't imagine because I do see mountain bikes back here from time to time. I'm selling here. Even in my heyday, when I was uh, just getting out of Marine Corps basic training, I don't think I could have rode a mountain bike on a trail like this. You know, with all these roots and, you know, and uh, uh, there were some wet spots that you might get into because with a bike, you know, you're moving along pretty fast. I mean, I'd be surprised, but who knows? I might just bump into a mountain biker as we move along here. Pretty cool trail, though. I'm enjoying it. thought this was unique. I'm actually below the creek at this point on the trail, which is kind of weird. And I had this cool looking tree coming up right here with the green moss growing on it. But I'm already, I'm already knowing that we're going to have to alter this hike. I don't want to be back here in the dark. And uh, we got a late start because of all the paperwork at Liberty or Rock and Pratt. And um, I, so anyway, I, and I didn't realize because I was only going to do, I was going to try to get about four miles in. But I'm moving at a snail's pace. I don't know if you can tell. I've already tripped about six times because I'm an old fart. And uh, this, is, uh, this is some difficult hiking with the leaves and all the roots. And uh, it's barely moving along, maybe one, one mile an hour here. Uh, and that's going to that's gonna, gonna get laid on me pretty doggone quick. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? And uh, you see Liberty does a good job maintaining these trails. You know, that, I, that, I don't know when that tree came down. But they certainly have uh, have done it. Now look at here, a little little trick area for for a, for a bicycle. I don't know if that's or that's just old uh, construction that they took out. I don't know. So just trying to, because yeah, well, he looks like you could take a bicycle over that. I suppose I don't know. Uh, I, so I'm just going to keep on going. And uh, first chance I get, I'm going left and then probably working my way out. And this will be a short hike today. Unfortunately, I really needed a long hike to get some exercise because I've been dealing with my mother. And that's, uh, that's been, on, been on the phone for about, about a week now. All right. So I, I am on the lake trail which is good, but we're gonna, I'm gonna get off of this. Now you can see it, we're winding down back through the woods. So we're altering the hike. And so what I'm gonna do is, this probably fall oil road over here, I'm just making a guess. And uh, I'm gonna go a ways down it, because even if it got dark, I wouldn't mind hiking on, on a road. And plus I can make a lot better time, you know, moving along than I can on that lake trail with all the roots and everything. So it's, uh, it's gonna be a nothing burger uh, once we get on this uh, road up here, but I'm gonna continue getting further away from the snow complex and, you know, at some point make another left and then another left to head back. So I probably may end up on Dirty Ridge again. Yeah, that's Falwell Road coming up. You can see the sign. All right, so let's get on this road and uh, make some time. I thought I'd get one brief clip of Falwell Road. I mean, not much to it. Uh, of course, obviously I'm making time now, not having to worry about uh, rocks under leaves or a tripping on roots or any of that. And so, you know, you can just come down this road and go over to the uh, the, the zip line and the pond and everything, but that's not what we're going to do. At some point, I'll make a left off of this trail, and that'll be the next clip. But I just did want to show at least Fallwell Road, just just so you can see what it looks like. You know, if you wanted an easy hike just to come be in the forest, uh, this would be a nice hike. You know, I uh, I mean I'd prefer to be down there on the lake trail. You can kind of see it down below, down there, and uh, it's on the other side of the creek. Uh, but I need to make some time. All right. I don't know if you could see it on the video. This is how well they maintain these trails here at Liberty Mountain. There's a whole wooden bridge that stretches from right over there all the way across to over here. 
and that's uh so that's the lake trail down there and uh, i thought that was just pretty cool to show that to you um let's just keep going so we've come to you know this it's always baffling this you see that red sign back there i wonder what that's about but this is fall World road location p9 and then you always see this thing deep hollow 5k i'm not sure what the hell that is but uh, anyway we're we're making the turn we're making the turn on the raccoon alley and i've been going down for quite some time so it looks like i'm going to be going up and uh that's at p9 if you ever if you have a map i actually brought the map with me this time so uh so now we're you know we're making the left and then uh once we cross uh well probably cross over uh dirty can't remember dirty or dirty something and then we'll keep going and get over to that other trail so looks like we're going to get a pretty good hike in let's keep going you can see that now I'm going up because <laughs> because I've been going down the whole time I've been hiking, which I hate because, you know, I would rather go up when I start hiking. And I've said that many times. All right. OK, you can hear me, Pat, and that was Raccoon Run or is. And uh, this was the trail we got on the previous video because that's his Raptor Run. And you saw that was just straight up the mountain. And then here's the bench where I took a break last time. And I'm going to take a break this time. And then I continued on in that previous video up uh, Raptor Run going this way. But uh, I'm not, well, I'm not going to take a break because of my time constraints. So we're just going to continue down uh, this, this trail and, uh, and, you know, and see when we, when we can make a left. I'm seeing a sign down here. Let's see what's coming up. I guess I should have looked at the the map. So Raccoon Alley's coming to an end and we're coming into Dirty Ridge. And well, although I didn't hike, well, no, actually it's not. This is Dirty Ridge crossing Raccoon Run. Good, good, good. Cause we already did that in a previous video. So let's keep going this way. And as soon as I see the next uh, left-hand turn or the next trail, uh, we'll make a left there and start working our way back towards the snow complex. So that's good. I'm, I'm glad that, uh, you know, that we, we're still getting to, to be on a on, on a new trail all right so i'll get a video when we get to the whatever next uh turn that we're going to be making because i you can see this is just going to kind of look like this the whole way so at least i'm making some good time i thought i'd get just a quick clip here because unfortunately as much as i went up now i'm going down and uh, you can see the mountain over here that i'm coming up to and Man, I, you know, that's the problem. Well, it's good, I mean, for exercise, but I just hate going down. I like going up because then, then you get to go down. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I know that, I'm, that this is going to be brutal as soon as I get to the bottom of this uh, raccoon run. And, uh, and then we're going to have to go back up a mountain. So that'll be interesting. So I just saw a guy mountain biking up that. That's incredible. I mean, I, I, I don't even see how anybody can pedal up that. But uh, so we're coming to the end of Raccoon Alley here for the day. But you can see there's a little bridge over here that goes over a creek and it's going to continue on that way, which maybe we can do that sometime. Um, or just come here and do this because we're, what we're moving on to now is down here in the woods. We're moving on to Deer Trail and it's saying 0.5 miles. So like I said, this could be a real short hike. Uh, We'll see what this runs into and, and then uh, work our way back to the snow complex. Now I know this deer trail is only going to go a brief period of time and I see another sign coming up. I don't know what I'm running into, but uh, it's kind of a, isn't this a nice, nice hike here? Of course, you know, once again, you got the leaves and loose rocks and have almost fallen maybe once or twice, and, you know, this time of the year, trying to see where to put your feet without a walking stick. But let's see what's coming up. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> There's the bridge. I imagine it used to go across right here. Uh, and then, they, of course, they got this sign here. Preservation area, please stay on trails and bridges to protect our streams. So I, I imagine it probably had a torrential downpour. And I got to get across this stream without, because hiking with wet feet. I'm thinking maybe, let's see if this bridge is, yeah, it's, it's in there good. Yeah, all right, let's just come on down here. I got to work my way underneath here and I'll just circle back this way. That way I don't have to step in the stream here. Look at that water. Boy, I wonder if there's some, probably some fish down in there somewhere. 
So this was uh, this was good. I had to pull out the map uh, first time, and I uh, if we well we got to cross the stream down here on that bridge, and this uh, this split trail split decision was 1.8 miles going that way. Uh, nice little sign on the tree up there. But I looked at Deer Trail, and I think we talked about this in the beginning. So we're going to continue on Deer Trail, and this is going to come to the Psycho Path at some point, and then that's going to kind of just wind us back towards the Snowflex uh, complex. So we're on our way back at this point. So uh, that's good. But, you know, I'm glad I had the map, and, uh, you know, it's working from memory on these things is not all that great. But the next hike, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Come back and uh, hit that... Um, that split decision, 1.8 miles. Hell, I, I would have done that today, but like I said, it's gotten, I got here too late. So I got to start working my way back. So this is what that bridge would have looked like <laughs> if it had been in, in place. Uh, ooh, we've got a missing board here. I hope that doesn't mean this thing's rotten. Here we go. Just getting across it. That's pretty sturdy. All right, so uh, I'm enjoying this deer trail. I mean, this is nice. Uh, not too much up and down so far, but you do run into stuff like this. So you got to kind of worm your way around it, you know, and uh, but it's just uh, more the same. I'll get another clip when something changes here. So I always get the weird stuff on the video. What in the world is the purpose of a little metal wire here with the two yellow things going over to that side? Why, in, in the middle of the woods, I mean, look at what's around, you know, I mean, I don't know. I'm still on the, on the deer path. You can see it's a, it's a nice hike. I tell you what, this is, uh, if you're going to come, come to Liberty, I mean, this is, uh, cause that wrapped a run and <laughs> you, we saw the other one. That was just, that, those were brutal. I mean, those were up and down the mountain and this is just kind of hiking along this Creek. Uh, so, uh, it's, a uh, it's a it's a nice relief from uh, from when I was going up and down the mountain there, but uh, I just saw that cable back there and I was like, what in the world is the purpose of that cable? I don't know. Bizarre. You know, only kind of video on when I see something unique. I mean, look at these rock formations over here, and then right over here, there's a little waterfall for the creek. You know, if I was, we could go. Let's yeah, let's go over there and get a picture picture of the waterfall that'd be cool yeah, well hold on let me cut the video off a second so here's a good shot of the creek and uh, I hiked over through the woods of course you never know what's underneath those leaves could step on a snake or two but this is the waterfall here isn't that pretty cool just get that on the video yeah this is why you come out look at look at that isn't that beautiful there's a, and look there's some water actually flowing underneath my feet and coming out right here that's pretty cool. All right, let's 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 keep on going. So I pulled out the map again. Anytime you call a trail psychopath, I have a feeling we're getting to get into some tough hiking and I'm just looking at that right there. But rather than go left and go back to the Snowflex complex, because we've done that various, uh, various times, there's a plane up in, in the sky there. Psychopath actually goes this way over to Monogram Road and then we can hike up Monogram Road to get to the uh, the Snowflex Complex. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right rather than left and see a portion of the mountain that I've never seen before. You know, nice bridge here. Uh, and we're going to, you can see why it's called Psychopath. <laughs> I mean, this, this is not going to be easy hiking on this trail. I can guarantee that. Well, that was right. Psychopath is Psychopath. I just wanted to get another clip of the of this trail heart rate is definitely up i've slipped on a couple of rocks trying to climb up the mountain here uh you know you can see what i'm seeing this is going to be a tough hike from the, and i'm just crawling along at this point just crawling along but look at the trail keeps going up way up there with all these rocks and everything sliding underneath your feet it's pretty uh pretty intense here you definitely want to walk and stick on this trail Here's another shot of Psychopath. This is slow going here. Wow, intense. All right, I just thought I'd get this on a video. I'm still going up. I wish I could make an action video. Who the hell could mountain bike that? But look at here. They got a trick ramp 
Because I mean, once you come off of this trick ramp, you got to get control of that bicycle because you're getting ready to go down a mountain. I mean, I mean, it's cool that they got this back here, but I'm like, who the hell can even mountain bike that? Going up or down. Let's look at this thing. I guess, well, yeah, there's a trail coming in from that direction. And then you'd, you'd come up, I guess you could go over top of that rock. I mean, who the hell can do this? Man, I'd love to see that. But when you love to get that on film? Hell, that, that, that saw the video. Now, they had this one here. I guess that used to be somewhere. But uh, look at this thing. I mean, can you imagine? A bike going up and going over top of that rock or hitting this and going f going off the end of that and then going down the mountain with all those rocks and you know I, I I'd love to see it man if you're a mountain biker you want to be on my channel and you can do you can ride something like that I mean hot damn that would be that'd be something else to watch for sure but I'm still going up here I just wanted to show you that trick ramp because I was thinking what the hell because obviously it's not for hikers it would be for somebody riding a bicycle. And who the hell can ride a bicycle on this? Man, that did something else. Well, let's just get, get down here. So it's not a cold day. I guess I should have looked at that weather forecast because it's raining on me now. And uh, it's cold enough that I'm gonna be a drowned, wet, cold rat when I get back to the car. And believe it or not, I'm still going up the mountain. <laughs> this is insane, this trail. All right. All right, I made it to the top of the mountain off a, off a cycle path uh, and, uh, and then we've got, but it's pointing like it's going to go this direction, I don't know. And so now I'm at this uh, champion road and I think if I go this way, it'll take me back and since it's raining and everything, I'm going to pull out the map and make sure of that. And you can see there's another sign up there. Let's see where we are. Well, I'll look at the map. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. But here's a trail called Alternate Flight Pattern uh, that comes off of Champion Road. Now, according to the map, at some point, Psychopath is also going to get... Well, here's Alternate Flight Patterns going that way also. So I'm going to look at the map again, see if I'm going in the right direction, because I'm supposed to come to Psychopath again, which would take you over to Monogram Road. But I think at this point, uh, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to stay on Champion Road uh, once I determine I'm going the right direction, because this will take me back to the uh, the Snowflex, and it's an easy hike. And I've had enough of one Psychopath today. So that'll probably be it for, for this video for the most part. Uh, if I see anything along the way, I'll uh, try to get another clip. Let's, uh, let's go keep going. So this is one thing, you know, that, that you could do. I mean, that's obviously a trail of some sort, so you could just come back here and get lost, you know, because there's no sign there that tells you what trail that is. Is There is one coming up. This might be Psychopath moving off. Uh, maybe that's just a different route into Psychopath. Let's see. Uh, this is probably it. Yeah, there you, there you go, Psychopath. So you could... Uh, well, okay, so that wasn't, a, that wasn't a trail. That was just another way to get to Psychopath. So we're just gonna continue down Champion, and here's the sign there, Champion Road. So we're just gonna keep going this way. That, that indicates I mean, I'm going the right direction to get back. Luckily, the rain has quit, so that's good. So I just thought I'd talk about the, the, I thought this looked pretty cool. That's why I wanted to get a clip. But it looks like this alternate flight pattern trail just crisscrosses Champion Road. Because uh, I've seen it about two or three times now, so I guess what they're saying is, that, you know, if you didn't want to just hike down a road, you could always hike that alternate uh, flight pattern, and you know, probably get a, a much better hike in than just hiking down a road. So, but I figured uh, this would be good a time as any to do the mantra. So freedom, oh freedom! Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please. If you want to be a, a dictator, Democrat, get your jab, get your booster. By the way, there's the second boosters out now. Be sure and get that. Get the, they get the booster to your booster. Move to California. Move to New York, but stay the heck out of Florida. Y'all peace out and stay free. Well, I sure do hope I'm going the right way because <laughs> uh, there's a, some uh, deer equipment off to the right. And let's see what this says. Uh, 
gate five caution. I don't know why they got that. So we're still on Champion Road, and then I'm coming up to. I mean, I can see. Oh, we're on the uh, we're on Monogram Road. Okay, that's what we were going to hike over to on that psychopath. And look at that. Uh, wonder why that's parked there. Now, do I go left or right? I don't know. All right, because I can see. See, it looks like the university down there, and there's a there's the highway. I'm going to make a left. I think it's going to be left. Let's let's see what happens.